Hey everybody, this is Venus Watcher up 99 and um today I'm just giving you an update. Um I have been making a lot of uh Sims videos lately uh and um I want to wish y'all very uh merry christmas and uh, a happy new year and uh happy hanukkah and all uh, you know holidays basically that are good for this time of the year. Um I guess my new year's resolution would be uh to um be kinder to my, you know, family and stuff, and to, uh, basically get rid of a lot of bad habits and things, um, and, you know, just to, I don't know, just to, to be more wholesome, I guess, um, that's my cat, he's checking out my Christmas tree I got, um, this isn't my real tree, that's our new tree, and that's our old one that got broke, no cupcake. He, he, he might get, I don't want him to get, like, lead poisoning from this. Um, anyway, I want to show you this cool tree I got from, uh, Boz Cows today. It, um, is a Christmas tree. That's a small one for, like, uh, model layouts and stuff. And, uh, sceneries and stuff. I know it looks abstract compared to the cat. That's funny. Um, but this is, it's wire. It does not take um, power cords. Though it has an option for power cords, I guess, right there. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'm wanting the camera focused in correctly. It. Zero. And it says DC. And okay, yeah, I guess. It's in the, you can plug in an adapter, I guess, if you don't have batteries. Um, let me turn off this side table lamp to give you a better view of it. There we go. It is multicolor. I know the camera doesn't show colors very well on lights for some reason. Not even on regular lights or on walls. Now this switch here is to adjust the speed of the light's movement. And I believe even the brightness it controls. And you can make it so it don't blink at all. Or to the point where it blinks a lot. Make it blink really slow. Here's the slowest speed. It The star does not light up. Um, but, you know... Here's how you turn it on and off. It takes three AA batteries. Um, but I thought it was cool. It was uh, originally $20, but it was on sale by the house today, so I bought it. Well, my grandfather bought it. Turn the light back on. And here's the accuracy of it. Here's a Coke can, and here's the tree. So I guess it's a maximum of 10 inches. Um, there's a, a Christmas, um, hey, what's it called? What are the names of those uh, Christmas flowers that bloom? Christmas rose, no, Christmas, uh, no. It's a Christmas, and that might even be a, a Christmas, um, I don't know, I forget the name. Anyway, um, it's got some, the tree, anyway, it's got some uh, ribbons and some bulbs, and the lights are kind of hidden, so if you didn't have batteries, you could just, like, I guess... If you want it to, you could just take and hide the cord for more safety reasons. I mean, if you hid this cord, it's really meant to that. If you hid the box and the cord, that's what it would look like. It would look like a, my cat's playing like, ha, huh, my hand's on top of yours. He, I don't want him to get, like, if this has lead or something, I don't want him to. But anyway, um, this is the... Um, size of this tree, it's, that's my hand, so, you know, and that's a Coke can, so, and there, here's a disc, so you should be able to really judge the size of it, and there's a real size Christmas tree, so, yeah, it's pretty small, this is our newest one, the other one broke, we got our, uh, Christmas lights up at the top of the house there, they're icicle, uh, multicolor lights, um, and, you know, um, we also, um, you know, have, um, we're getting ready to put up all of our decorations. Not all of them. Um, every year I used to put up, like, a, um, 
Christmas light palooza, um, in my bedroom, a, um, it was more of a symphony, I guess, I don't know, um, a Christmas light show, and last year I had, let's see, I had those newer fat bulbs, which are clear and very, very big, bigger than the old-fashioned ones that were developed about two years ago, but I guess they were discontinued because of lead paint was found on them. It even said, warning, they contain lead paint. Please wash hands with soap after every use, which means ever after every time you touch it. And it says, warning, keep away from pregnant women and keep away from the hands of children. Um, also, um, I had some blue mini lights and, um, I had, um, the blue mini lights blinking, and I had them on the wall too. So I had those fat bulbs on the wall, and then the mini lights on the wall. I had all most of my lights on the wall. Then I had one of them white lit up deer in there on the floor, and I had a couple of trees. One lit up was white. Um, I had another couple of trees. I had one that was like um a fiber optic that got unplugged and was just used as a regular small Christmas tree, um, and. Then I had a little tiny fluorescent, um, like a neon Christmas tree. It wasn't even the tree, it was like a, just a neon lamp shaped as a Christmas tree with the border in the back for background, but you could take that off. And, um, I had some regular multicolor lights, um, mini lights on the wall, some old fashioned, uh, fat bulbs, like, you know, the ones back in the 90s you had. And I also had some uh some uh, white lights up and some um lights that were very similar to this tree they were battery operated they had a tackle box like that and uh they had took two double a batteries instead of three this takes three double a and um they were really bright a lot brighter than that tree that tree's not very bright um they were like led bright they were green and red the red ones weren't that bright but the green ones were really bright i liked them they were very cool um, but I'm, I'm not going to do my Christmas show this year. Um, next year, if I do do it, I will film it and put it on YouTube. Um, I also had many other things like signs up on the wall. Um, and I had a very short strand of multicolor mini lights that would go around the signs. And then I'd have, um, those pattery apparated, um, lights go on my, like, um, shelf with some, like, of that ribbon stuff with them to intertwine with them then I also would do um um my train layout my HO train scale layout I would also deck uh, that up as a well I would make that a um Christmas layout I'd put um styrofoam for the snow don't do that though if you want my opinion just don't do that because that really messes up with the layout unless you can have a vacuum or something I can suck all that back up um and for the top of the buildings, I used a can of fake snow. It comes off with water. It's like a powder. It sticks. Um, and I had a basic Christmas scene. Um, and the train that yeah, was running really well back then, but now it's not running, unfortunately. Um, I also had many other types of lights I'd put up in my bedroom. Some other types of mini lights. Uh, some larger lights. I'd have um, all kinds of different lights. A newer strand. That would stretch over the 55 gallon aquarium, which was a uh, regular set of multicolor, very long, about two, uh, about uh, almost 200 lights, I guess, was on that strand, and you know all kinds of other uh, types of lights. Um, oh, and I had some uh, some other types of uh, lights that go around my shelving as well, and the white lights and uh, some other multicolor lights. I I, I had a maximum of 3,000 lights in my bedroom. And I was kind of always hoping it would get on the news or something. It's the world's bestly done indoor um, Christmas light show. Um, I didn't have it set to music or nothing. I also had a battery operated little globe that had snow in it. and You know, it would lit up. But uh, this year I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just not, I don't feel up to it. And, and uh, I'm just really uh, tired and sick this year so I just can't do that but um instead I will you know just put up a couple decorations like this maybe a couple nutcrackers 
Um, I did have a whole bunch of nutcrackers, too, in that display. I'd have, like, ten nutcrackers all lined up. And all in order, like the king, then the queen, and, you know, so on and so on. They had this cool nutcracker, which was a mouse king at, uh, like, a store I was at. Um, but it was really expensive. It was, like, 30, 40 bucks. Um, and, let's see, uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. But, uh, my, it's basically an update and a review on this tree. Um, I got it from, from Boscobs for a very good price. Um, it was on sale, so I got it for, but my grandfather got it for $11. Um, and pretty cool. So, um, I wish you all very, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and also, um, Happy New Year. And, um, and if you are in China, Happy uh, Chinese New Year, which will be, um, a uh, late, wait, wait, I guess way later. Um, or it might have been just recently, yeah. Well, I don't know, um, I guess it would be coming up soon. And, uh, also, if I don't do another video before Easter, happy Easter. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and please check out all my other videos, and rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.